Hey guys, this is Naveen here. Welcome back to Naveen Automation Lab. So today we are going to talk about a very famous interview question that you have to check a given number is an Armstrong number. This Armstrong number is also known as PPDI number like blue perfect digital invariant plus perfect number also it is called. Along with that you can call it this is narcissistic number also. There are various examples and then we will see what is the definition of Armstrong number. So better you go to the wiki page of this and here it's written a narcissistic number is also known as PPDA, an Armstrong number after Michel F. Armstrong or a plus perfect number in a given name base 10 is a number that is sum of its own digits each raised to the power of the number of digits. Right? What do you mean by this? It means if there is a number, for example, 153, how many digits are there? Three digits are there. So one cube plus a five cube plus a three cube which is giving you 1 plus 125 and then 81. This is actually equal to 153. So that this 153 is actually equal to this 153. That's why this number is the Armstrong number. Right? But at the same time, if you are calculating, let's see 125. 1 cube plus 2 to the power 3 plus 5 to the power 3. If you write 1 plus 8 plus 125, which is giving you 134. 134 is not equal to 125. So this is not the Armstrong number. Zero is the Armstrong number? Yes, because zero, how many digits? Only one digit. So you will be calculating zero to the power one, which is equal to zero. So this zero and this zero, both are equal. It means this is matched. So this is Armstrong number. One is the Armstrong number? Yes. So if we calculate only one digit, one to the power one is equal to one. So this one and this one, both are same. So this is also an Armstrong number, right? But for example, can we have the negative Armstrong number? No, the negative Armstrong number is not possible according to the definition. There is no negative number with respect to Armstrong number. Armstrong number should be greater than or equal to zero. So lowest Armstrong number is zero in that case. It should be a positive integer number. Now there are various wrong definition available on Google guys. I have already opened some couple of uh, blogs over here from tutorials.com also. Most of the time you will see this definition, Armstrong number is a number which is equal to the sum of the cubes of its individual digits. No, that's a wrong definition. It should be equal to the sum of its own power of digits, right? That is what exactly written on a Wikipedia also. Sum of its digit, own digits raised to the power of the number of digits. If you have four digits, then you have to calculate with the power of four, power of five, power of six like that. It's not about only cubes. Same wrong definition is written over here also is a positive number if it is equal to the sum of cubes. It's not about only cubes. It can be any power. It depends how many digits are available. Okay. So people might ask the time of interview that uh, what do you mean by a plus perfect number or narcissist number or Armstrong number or PPDI number. So it means they're talking about Armstrong number and write a logic for that. Then they will be asking you that, okay, you don't need to use any math dot inbuilt function that is math dot power function you don't need to use it so with this and without this also you have to give the solution for that right and then it could be a negative number also so let's see how to write the basic logic for this so for example let's see i'll give you one more example uh, there is a number one six seven four how many digits are there four digits so it's not about we have to calculate on the basis of cubes see here we are calculating on the basis of cubes because there are three digits are there but here we will calculate one to the power four 6 to the power 4, 7 to the power 4, plus 4 to the power 4. If you calculate that, so this 1674 is actually, maybe somewhere some different number will be coming, whatever, I'm not calculating it. If this number is equal to 1674, then only it will be Armstrong number. But in this case, it will not be an Armstrong number because they are not Armstrong number, right? But for example, let's see, if I'm writing 9474, 9474, if you calculate that, so 9 to the power 4, this match and this match, this is an Armstrong number, right? So that's why there are many examples, five, four, seven, four, eight, four, five. So in this case, the calculation will be the power of five, four to the power five, seven to the power. And when you calculate this calculation, you will get the exact number five, four, seven, four, eight. So this is, and this match, this is an Armstrong number. So here you see that the power is getting changed. It depends how many digits are there. Here four, here five, here one. This is also one. And here we have, are three digits over here like this okay so it's not about it's not about only cubes you have to check 
how many digits are there and that digit number of digits will become your power of and then you have to calculate the sum and then if it is equal to the given number then it's an armstrong number perfect so let's see how to write a logic for that so let's see let's prefer the tdd approach test driven development approach kind of thing we will we will pass the test data and then we will keep writing the logic over here so we know that zero is the is the lowest armstrong number so i'll be calling this particular function i'll be passing zero over here it means zero will be given to this guy and immediately i'll put a condition that if this particular number is actually greater than or equal to zero and 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 the number is less than equal to nine it means do what return true over here why because between zero to nine all the numbers are single digit numbers and single digit numbers are always armstrong number for example let's see if you have nine nine to the power nine which is giving you nine so this nine and this nine got matched same thing for five five to the power one which is five actually so both got matched so i can say zero to nine all the numbers are armstrong numbers so i'll immediately don't need to do any calculation simple return true over here else you simple say uh, return false perfect and then i'll do one thing i'll just uh, print it on the console so, so let's run it and let's see what is the output so the output is true perfect now what if the negative number is someone is passing so immediately the first condition is always the number is negative so i'll write if number is less than zero and immediately you say what immediately you return a false from this function right okay now these two conditions are absolutely working fine or not so let's quickly check that so if i'm passing return minus one okay for minus one what exactly it will return the so number is less than zero so immediately it will give you a false over here so you can see the output is giving you false so this is how you develop the test driven development approach with these two conditions we have a return like that okay now now we have to start writing the logic but one important thing in this program is guys that how will you get to know that how many uh, powers are there it means how many digits are there because uh, digits are equal to power right for example if three digits are there then only we have to calculate one to the power three like this here one to the power four six to the power four so how will you calculate the power so power means total number of digits one two three four like this so how will you calculate that that's important so it's very simple what we can do and without any inbuilt function so i'll do one thing i'm going to create a separate inbuilt function i mean separate custom function let's see public is static or private is static uh, and i simple call that function as power function and this power function is saying fine you give me one integer number and this number i'll say one thing is starting with n equal to zero and it's very simple i'll write a while loop and then if number is not equal to a zero immediately increase a number by one and the number is equal to what number divided by 10 so what exactly i'm doing for every iteration i'm just keep removing the last digit of the number and then every time i'm just increasing the number by n so that will finally what exactly it will give you it will return an n over here it will return how many digits are there in that particular number and then on the basis of that i will return an integer here okay so we will try to debug this also later on fine so what i'm going to do that i'm going to store a power over here and then i'm going to call this particular function the power function and the same number i'm going to give it to this guy okay fine so i got the power so if i'm passing let's see 153 so the power will be 3 over here if i'm passing 1 so power will be 1 if i'm passing first of all for 1 it will return immediately true but if i'm passing only four digit number so power will be 4 over here okay then what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to create one copy of number is equal to the same number because this number later on i'll be using for the comparison so i'll create a copy extra space that i'm going to create integer copy number is equal to this and then i'm going to maintain one sum also where i'll keep adding the sum over here and then what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to create a while loop here in this particular while loop if this copy number which is not equal to zero it means up to not equal to zero what exactly i'm going to do that i'm going to get the last digit so from the copy of number what do you do percentage 10 it means you get the remainder and then get the last digit for example let's see this is my last digit is equal to this right and when you get the last digit what exactly you're going to do that i'm going to do one thing that uh, i'm going to maintain one more variable let's see factor variable is equal to one 
and then I'm going to start a for loop over here. Why? Because I have to keep calculating, right? 1 to the power 4. So let's see if I'm passing this number, 153 number, right? So this is first iteration, second iteration and the third iteration. How many times? It depends how many powers that you have captured, right? So in this case, what exactly I'm going to do that? I'll start integer i is equal to 0 and i less than what? What is your power value? 4 digit value or 5 digit or 3 digit or 1 digit or 2 digit like that. And then I'll simply write i plus plus over here. And then whatever this factor number that you have created, which is equal to what? I'll just keep multiplying with the last digit, right? So let's see, for example, for number 153, the last digit would be 3. It means 3 multiply by 3, 3 times. And up to, why 3 times? Because up to total number of power, we got power equal to 3. So 0, 1 and 2. So this factor will be calculated like this. So factor is equal to 1 multiply by 3. So factor equal to 3. Again, 3 multiplied by 3 is equal to 9. 9 multiplied by 3 is equal to 27 like that. This is what we have done. It's not 81, it's 27 guys. Okay, that is by mistake. So uh, let's see, in this case, will this work or not? And after that, once your while loop is done, what exactly, once the for loop is done, what exactly I'm going to do that? I simple say, right, okay, fine, sum is equal to what? Sum plus that factor, you just keep adding it. And, uh, and then you have to update the copy of number also. This copy number, which is equal to copy number divided by 10, it means remove the last digit number. So first time 153, then 15, and then 1. And then keep capturing that particular digit and then calculating with the power, multiplication with that particular uh, power factor, and then that's it. Perfect. And then what you do, on the basis of that, you come over here and put a condition that if the sum that you captured, which is equal to equal to number, the actual number that you have captured, then do what? Then you say return true over here. Otherwise, you return false. Okay. So let's see this logic, according to me, is ready. And then we will try to see with number of test cases. So first, I'll try to show you with the debug mode. System dot out dot pin tell in 53. 153 that we have already calculated. 1 plus 25 plus 27 is equal to 153. Okay, so this is not this 27 guys. Okay, 152 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 153. So let's see for 153 what exactly it is uh, showing. So for 153 is giving you a true here, which is fine. So let's <coughs> debug this and how exactly it is working. So I'll put a debugger at line number 12, at line number 16, and then I'm putting a debug, okay, at the while loop also for 25 line number. And then I'm going to comment it out. For these two things, we have already seen that. I'm passing 153, so run in the debug mode. And uh, here you will see that uh, number is equal to what? 153 less than zero, no. So let's move to the next if condition. So we will come over here. And then again within the zero to nine range, no, that is again no. And then I'm going to check the power. See this power is very simple, go to line number 41 and uh, we'll come over here, right? And in this particular power, the number is we are passing 153 first time n equal to 0 condition is satisfied n plus 1 it means increase the number of n by 1 again remove the last digit so keep doing three times 1 2 and this is your three third time and then once the number is 0 return n so what is the final value of n the final value of n is equal to 3 so this method is helping me to calculate the power on the basis of total number of digits Okay, if you are passing seven digits, it will give you n equal to seven because seven times n will be increased like that. Perfect. So what exactly I'm going to get it over here? I'm getting the power is equal to three now. So here you can see power equal to three. And then the original number copy I'll be giving to the copy of number. So I'll create a separate extra space for that. And initially sum is equal to zero. So sum is equal to a zero. Then I'll come inside the while loop. Copy of number is not equal to zero. Condition is uh, satisfied or not. So let's see, the copy of number is 153 not equal to 0 and then I'll get the remainder of this. So 153 modulus 10 is equal to 3 over here. So what is the last digit? The last digit will be what? A 3. And then I'll starting one factor equal to 1 and 0 to what? The power got 3. So 0, 1, 2. So it means what will happen? The factor will be multiply, will be multiplied with last digit in this for loop. So 3 will be like this, 3 multiplied by 3 multiplied by 3, like that, right? So see, 
and then the final factor will be over here you can just pause over on factor it is giving you 27 right and then sum is equal to what sum equal to 0 plus 27 is equal to 27 so the, we got the first sum now 27 so it will do in the reverse calculation so it will first calculate 27 because we got remainder as 3 now what is the left number after 153 we have to divide this number by 10 so 153 divided by 10 is equal to 15 only right because this is an integer so 15.3.3 will be removed now the uh, that uh, the ending number is 15 over here 15 is again calculated over here in this while condition so let's see so we'll come over here condition is again true you can see that 15 is not less than equal to uh, not uh, equal to zero condition is satisfied and then again it will come here perfect and then it will keep calculating so next time 15 again so what is the last digit we got the last digit we got 5 because 15 modulus 10 is equal to 5 and then again the 5 will be multiplied with the factor three times over here so what exactly the factor we got the factor we got is 125 and what are the initial value the first value of sum was 27 so 27 plus factor is equal to 152 we will be getting so the sum is 152 and then again the copy of number is 15 divided by 10 which is 1.5 you will be getting 1 over here 1 is not equal to 0 condition is again satisfied and then I'll come over here and then I'll check the what is the last digit the last digit I'll be getting here which is 1 1 model stand is equal to 1 and then factor is again 1 it means calculate the 1 3 times once again like that okay so 1 to the power 3 it will be calculated so final factor will be 1 only in that case and then what I can do is sum is equal to what so the initial sum was 152 plus 1 is equal to 153 now and then copy of number 1 divided by 10 so let's see what is the copy the copy of number will become what the copy of number is equal to 0 0 is not equal to 0 condition is not satisfied it will come out of the while loop and then what is the final sum we got the final sum we got 153 and what exactly the value to the function that we passed we passed 153 if both got matched then return true otherwise you return false so here return true and that's why it's printing on the console if you see that printing true over here perfect so this is absolutely working fine this logic now I'll do one thing let me just uncomment these two lines let me check with some other numbers as well so let's see for 0 I'm checking let's see I'm checking for 5 also for 1 also and let's see I'm checking for uh, 9 as so let's do some boundary value analysis and uh, let's run it so all these are except the minus 1 all these are the uh, Armstrong number so let's see only with minus 1 it's giving you false perfect so this is also perfectly working fine then let's try with some uh, three uh, four digits or more digits number I simple write this function is Armstrong number and for example let's say I'm passing 9474 9474 is actually an Armstrong number so let's see it is giving the right output or not so here you will see that okay yeah this is absolutely working fine it's giving you true here perfect same thing let's see I'm doing it for uh, some other number 1674 1674 so 1674 is actually not an Armstrong number so it will give you false over here perfect and let's see some four digit number so some four digit number let's see 54748 so 54748 actually if you calculate with 5 to the power 5 plus 4 to the power 5 like that you will be getting the exact number so which is actually a true over here so that is also an Armstrong number absolutely working fine here okay like this so you can calculate now if I'm passing for example system dot out let's pass some two digit number also one two number 12 if I'm passing it should give you false here so here you can see that giving false right so this is also not not an Armstrong number so you can calculate any number over here like this for example if I'm passing one zero and pass hundred over here now let's run it again so for one zero zero also it is giving you a false perfect so this is also not an Armstrong number now if someone is saying okay can you uh, use the math function over here the power function from the math class what you can do is it's very simple you do one thing you just need to comment it out this for loop okay and instead of this factor 
let me just comment it out this also what you just need to do is sum is equal to sum plus there is a class math dot power which digit that you want to get the power of so let's see the last digit that we have already calculated right three then five and then one and the power of what the power of that the power we have already calculated this particular power okay and this math dot power will actually return one integer so we have to cast it into integer so let me just cast two integer and this will also working fine okay but here we are using the existing library existing function math library we are using it so if at a time of interview if they're asking you can showcase like that also here you can see exactly result same result we are getting it over here as well okay so here most of the solutions are written with math dot power that also you can use it but i would advise you to use this one what you can do is that this extra logic also this logic also you can move it to the uh, you can move it to a, some other function also or some other private function and then you just simple calculate the sum and that's it and then on the basis of that you can write a logic over here but make sure that okay you are handling the z uh, single digit number less than zero also you are handling it. it mean the moment you pass any negative number you don't need to commit over here the moment you pass any number which is coming between zero to nine immediately return true here like that and the number which is having two digits which is greater than nine in that case then only you have to start your while loop or for loop over here okay so let me just uncomment and this uncomment i don't want to use a math dot power this is a second op okay option you can use it okay so single digit one digit that also we have already checked right guys so this is a solution for this uh, uh, this program please uh, check it properly you will always get the bonus point when you are adding some extra conditions over here like this. And please, uh, Armstrong number is not the cube of each and every digit. Power of have to calculate should be on the basis of the number of digits. And then you have to get the power of each and every digit calculated. And then if the number is same of the given number, then it's an Armstrong number. Perfect. And then whereas example we have already captured. So that's all for today. Thank you so much. If you have any other approach to calculate the farm strong number, feel free to write in the comment section. Definitely I would like to see your solution as well. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, take care and God bless you all.